thank you acharji for everything whatever um, you sharing your knowledge i have seen your uh, yeah youtube videos and i feel like i have enough understanding i experience a lot i understood things but still there is um, like i'm not settled yet i feel like i still more to go even though somehow i want to be okay that's it no more but there is something which is telling me no go go more and and i can feel it uh, this is not about knowledge this is about like opening myself like heart is not open yet it's blocked it's not suffocated now but still looks like yeah it's not fully open yet so yeah what are you suggesting me to do should i keep on searching like that what are you searching for what i'm searching for if i really look for it i'm looking for the love with myself so does it exist or not it exists but i'm not satisfied yet maybe with that much if you're not satisfied with the love you have for yourself then it is not so much the love <clears throat> that you are lacking it is the intention the willingness to pay up for your love love is a costly affair love requires a lot of hmm, payment in more classical sense it is called sacrifice and if there is readiness to pay then there is the instance of payment and the delivery is immediate the moment you pay up you get what you have paid for so then there can be no dissatisfaction the very fact of dissatisfaction the very feeling of dissatisfaction indicates that the readiness to pay up itself needs to be more hmm? because that is the only blockage possible the intention to pay that payment is also called sacrifice it is also called surrender it is also called letting go it is also called renunciation right it is also called detachment the intention to pay translates into immediate payment if the intention is real then the act of sacrifice is not postponed to the future it happens immediately and if it happens immediately then that which you have paid for is obtained immediately if it is not coming to you then there is possibly no reason other than the hesitation or uncertainty hmm, in opening up to pay why doesn't don't want to really open up and make the payment because one still does not have enough clarity 
one wants to keep the stuff that is required to be dropped or given away. Hmm? Given away as the payment. One says, fine, I mean, I can see that I love myself and I see that for my own welfare or betterment, I must have that. Right? This is the act of love. This is the only act of love. Right? To strive for a higher state, a betterment, an elevation, a sublimation. Right? That's what the action of love is. If you love yourself, you want to be better. If you love the other, you want the other's welfare. Now it depends on whether you value that welfare more than what you are holding on to. Hmm? You could have that elusive betterment or you could have that which you already have and are not very willing to give up. A choice has to be made. Love is not very amenable to compromise, you see. Hmm? It's not a social thing where you can have adjustments of this or that kind. It is some kind of an absolutist tyranny. Love says, either this or nothing. That is the reason why most people stay quite lovelessly. Because they want both. They want love and they want other stuff as well. Love is not so adjustable. Talked of blockages, nothing blocks love except the unwillingness of the lover herself. If you are listening intently, you might be in fact concretely seeing what is it that needs to be just dropped. And I am not merely talking of intangible ideas, notions. Hmm? They too are stuff that deserves to be dropped. Often what needs to be dropped is quite tangible. It could be as tangible as money or a house, as material as brick and mortar. 